One of Einstein's lifelong friends died. And Einstein sent a letter to his family offering his condolences. And in his letter, he said, Now he has again preceded me a little in parting from this strange world. This has no importance. For us believing physicists, the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. What did he mean by that? It's because he saw time as its own coordinate in space-time. So we are in a room here that has a height with depth. You can move within this room at will. But as I said a moment ago, we are prisoners of the present. But if you step back and say, if I'm not that, but I can see your entire timeline, then I can put you anywhere in your timeline the same way I can put you anywhere in this room. If time is just another coordinate. And so on a timeline, you are always being born. You're always dying. You're always alive. How do you, how do you get to that timeline? You have to come at it from a higher dimension. Fourth dimension. Yeah, a fourth spatial dimension. Is that the guy in the wall in Interstellar? Is Interstellar based on a true story? Yeah, the China. The, a better analogy there would be uh, the the film and story Slaughterhouse Five, where the main character is abducted by aliens and he lives in a higher dimension, but he sees in, in his entire timeline and he rejoins it just at. Well, he's in a zoo, by the way, but it doesn't matter because he's an alien zoo. He can access his own life's timeline at any time at will. If you so are, that's what Einstein means by that. 